Oh no. So I'm pretty tired. Just have to get some wipers going here. It's foggy. So we're down to St Helens. Um, we've Ethan, my brother. And we're going sword fishing. A bit going on here. <laughs> we're going sword fishing. We left Alston, the northwest coast of Tassie, at 2.30 this morning. 2.30, 3 o'clock this morning. We're now at St Helens on the east coast. Uh, doesn't look like it's a bad day at all. So yeah, pretty tired. Pretty tired. Had about two hours sleep, sleep last night. Ugh, can't even get it out properly. So yeah, going sword fishing. It's just the two of us. Hoping to tag and release a sword today. That's the goal. Yeah, it's been a pretty hot bite lately in Tassie. So, fingers crossed we come tight with one. And we'll, uh, yeah, we'll show you all the action. Bring you along. Jesus, there's a bit of swirl pumping in at the ramp. Look at this. Sure you can pick that up or not. Nice bit of swirl pumping. Should be right once we get out. Get out wide. Should settle down a bit. Right oh, we'll see who's out there. Right oh, no. See, we've just got out of the shelf. Down in a place called the Plano. I'll just put some lures in. Um, just got to see if I can get a fresh albacore or bluefin. Uh, so we use the belly flap for a bit of fresh sword bait. We've got a box of squid, but can't beat a bit of fresh, fresh bait. So, so Ethan's down there rigging that. He's rigging that. I'm just trying to find a bit of bottom here. We're coming up to one of our marks. Yeah, I'll show you. I'll take you down there in a second. Show you what how we're rigging the bait. But the conditions are a little bit rougher than we thought they were going to be. But that's why we fish out of Stavia Craft because uh, we. There's not many conditions we can't fish in. Not as limited. We're comfortable. We're safe. And we can back up into some pretty shitty conditions pretty much all day, so. That's, uh, I don't think it's gonna get any worse. So we're pretty happy there. So yeah, we'll, with the base, we're gonna run some squid baits to start with. Now we're using circles today because we wanna try and release these fish. We're not interested in keeping one. We've actually had a pretty bad run on circles um, the last couple of years. Well, two years ago, two seasons ago, we, we run circles that whole season and the amount of fish we lost was just getting ridiculous. So last year we ran jay hooks and we had good success on jay hooks, but we kept a couple of fish last year. And this this year, oh, I'll we'll just come up on our mark, stop navigation. Yeah, this year we, we want to try and release a couple. So we're going to go back to circles Hopefully we get a good hook up. We're not going to bridle it. We're going to run the circle in the bait. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're going to run the circle in the bait. We just think we get a, we personally, a lot of people get good hook ups bridled. Works very well for a lot of people, but for some reason, not for us. We have caught a couple of fish bridled, but a couple of swordfish bridled. And we just, we're just losing too many fish like it. So, Today we're going to rig the circle, we're going to have it fixed in the bait because why not have the, why not have the circle hook inside what the fish is eating, so it gives you more, more of a chance for you reckon. A lot of people think different but I'll take you down and show you what we're doing. There's squid. Circle hook will sit up like that. Sitting up nice and proud. And if a swordfish comes along and eats it and swallows that, we know the hook's in the bait. We know it's not going to come off the hook. And we just think it's going to give us a better chance. Like I said, a lot of people have plenty of success bridle on the baits, but I'm not sure if we've just been unlucky or 
who knows, but we'll see what happens today anyway. I don't know, we'll get back to you when we're sending the boat down. Six pound mono, single brick. First. There's a nice lump coming up here. On the bottom, what we're gonna do that's gone there. It's gone there now. Don't need to jerk the rod like a crazy man. Six pounds, one brick. Breaks off just by winding in the holder. Now we wait. Oh no, we've hooked up. Give it to him. Yeah, we're tied on the sword. Yeah. He's already up top, I reckon. Look at that. Hold that rod, mate. Yeah. Woo! Yeah, boys! Look at that go! Hey! First drop. I thought he was swimming up. That line was funny. You reckon? <laughs> you know, does that, that hook there is bridled. Oh, it's gonna. So was just, we we're thinking about putting that down and we decided that nah, we'll go what we wanted to do, we plan to do and put the hook in the boat. Gutsy. Yeah. We'll grab that other camera off the dash. Alright. That's the sword. Been on there since I've seen that first fight. Well, that's pretty cool. He's coming up the top. That took the squid bait. First drop of the day. First drop, and that's just like I said, we had that hook in the bait. We just want to try something different. Put the hook in what he's eating, not hanging off it. That's it, need to reverse. Hooked in the side. Yep. Where's 
Okay, Paul. Give it all in real hard. Yeah. Yeah, hey, get the photos. Just get your phone. Yeah, how cool is that? Look to the fin. Yeah. I'm going to fly it up. Well, how cool is this? Come on, buddy. No good, we tried our best. Oh no. Unfortunately, we've had to keep him because he was just he wasn't in good enough nick. Dude, uh, we tried swimming him probably 20 minutes, half hour, and he just kept coming back up. You see he was hooked in the fin here. So with a hook like that, they never you're always gonna struggle to get him going. Uh, fortunately, but a bit of a bittersweet moment, but you may go to waste and there's not much we could have done, unfortunately. It's only 11 o'clock, so we might have another drop. Alright, just dropped another bait down. Just dropped another bait down. We'll have one more because it's right on the tire change. Sun's a bit bright. Right on a tire change now, so I thought we might as well drop another bait down and have another crack. Might get another chance of tagging another one. Who knows? One more drop and we'll head in. Yeah, you can catch him. For a chance, got a bait in the water. It's prime time too. What is it, about 11.30? 11.30 uh, tide change, so. I don't know if I'm up for it for one and another one in. I reckon Ethan might have to go this time. All right. Oh. All right. So yeah, we're back into the ramp. I think it's about. Uh, 1.30, 2 o'clock. We had in, uh, I got out of it pretty early. We thought we'd get in and get this fish cleaned up. We had one more drop. So, I only had two drops of the day. Second drop, had a bit of a bite, but I think it was just uh, bottom fish touching us up. Um, so yeah, we'll get in now and we'll clean this fish up. And work out what we want to do tomorrow, whether we want to... Um, See if we can go get a barrel. Be some barrel seen down here. Uh, big bluefin, so yeah, we'll have a talk about it tonight. Probably have a beer. A couple of beers I'd say. Come up with a plan. We'll probably see this again tomorrow, no doubt. But uh sword's in prime condition too, so at least you won't go to waste, should be good eating. Right Right, so around here, the second day, chasing 
swords. We're tired again. Uh, conditions are a little bit shitty. <laughs> Not too bad. It's the beauty of these stabby crafts. We get the fish in a lot of conditions most other people can't. See, that's that second drop of the day. Second drop of the day. Never filmed an intro because I didn't know if we were going to have to go sword or not with the conditions. Found a beautiful bit of structure in the garment. <laughs> Woo! Straight. Them seals are chasing, sorry, it's Truna. Don't let go of that mate, don't let go of the line. Bryce, come out quick. Get him in quick, quick, Bruce. Righto, you get a tag, 